Hello everyone and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix WWE 2K24 is having crashing issue it is not launching or won't launch freezing stuttering lagging low FPS drop stuck on loading screen and even the black screen issue which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about when you are having this trouble you can try with a restart or you can start with a restart. For this we just need to go over here in the start icon now from here go to the power icon over here and go for a restart once the restart is successfully done just try launch the game and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not sometimes a simple restart can fix a lot of issue so you can start with a simple restart once you're done with this one and if you're still having a lot of trouble you can move to the next one that is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder Sometimes we might be launching the game from the Steam and that is why we are having a lot of these kind of issue. So we need to launch the game from the installation folder. For this we just need to navigate to the installation folder and we have two methods. One we have a shortcut from here and one we have a file explorer way. So the first one WWE 2K24. So right click over here and go to the properties. Now go for the install it file and just click on the browse. So that will take you to the installation folder and if you check over here at the top there is this PC, localist C, program for x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, WWE 2K24 is actually the installation folder. And apart from this you can also navigate to the installation folder using the file explorer. For this we just need to go over here in the file explorer, navigate to this PC, go to localist C, go to program for x86, go for Steam, navigate to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here we have to go to WWE 2K24. So just go over here in this particular folder. Just try launch the game from here and that is what we have to do. Sometimes launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam, we is also a fix. So you can try this out. After trying with the second step, if you are still having the trouble, you can try two more steps from the installation folder. That is running the game as administrator and also you can run the game in the compatibility mode. For running the game as administrator, we just need to go over here, right click and go to the show more options, go to the properties, go for compatibility and we have to click on run this program in the compatibility mode, set this to Windows 7 over here. Now go over here in the Windows 7 and go for apply. We can also go for Windows 8 and go for apply as well. So this is the running the game in the compatibility mode, it's a one step. Also you can run the game as administrator and go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game. If that is not the case, we can move to the next step. That is all about, we have to move to the next one. That is all about, we have to launch the game and you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. So I don't know how this is related, but even though many users stated this even helped them. So just click on or hit on the play button. At the moment you're hitting on the play button, just press Alt and Tab from the keyboard and that will be okay fine. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to make sure that you have to uh, make sure the date, time and region is correct. For this reason we have to go over here in the search. We have to navigate to the settings. Now go over here in the windows update. Now from here just update your windows. Sorry not this one. Just go over here in the time and language. Go to the date and time. Make sure the time zone automatically, time automatically and all these three things should be turned on. We have to turn all these three things on and we just need to go back. Go to the language and region. Make sure we have to set the language to United, not from the United States. If you have the country is from India, you have to select India. If you are from United States, select United States. You have to set the country according to your geography. Once afterwards, just go back and try launch the game. Still, if you are having the trouble, the next one is all about what we need to do. So we just need to delete the saved game file. Even this worked for many users in my past knowledge for not only for this game but even for many games including what you have to say Spider-Man Virales. Even for many games you can try this out. Just go over here in the file explorer. Now from here navigate to this PC. Go to the documents and over here as you can see there are a lot of folders over here. In the same way you will be having a folder for WWE 2K24. Just delete this folder. And keep in mind when you delete this you will be losing all the provisions of the game but that is fine. Once afterwards just start this game from the scratch and even it helped with many users you can try this out. Sixth step is all about we have to allow the game to Windows security. So this is actually a very working step. So in order to do this just go over here, go to the search, go for control panel, just go for the control panel click on this one. Now from here go to system and security, go for Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. 
Now from here keep scrolling down and navigate to WWE 2K24. So hence it is an alphabet, keep scrolling down. Somewhere else here you will be able to find it. So WWE 2K24 and from here you have to select private and public both has to be marked. So if anything is unmarked you have to mark it up and once you mark this up it just closes everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the USB devices. So we, we might be connected with a lot of things for example. We might be connected with external computers, we might be connected with external uh, monitor, not I mean the sense, keyboard, joysticks, multiple might be connected which even goes the issue up. So just unplug everything. Once everything is unplugged, afterwards just launch the game. Once you are getting the game, you can connect it back and try playing the game and even this even worked for many users you can try this out. Next one, we have to perform a clean boot. So just go over here in the search, search for system configuration, search for system configuration like this. Go over here. Now click on the services. Go for hide all Microsoft services, not this one. Go for disable all. Go for hide all Microsoft services. Go for apply and go for OK. Then just go over here, go for exit without the, us the user. So watching this, go for restart. But I'm going to go for exit without restart. After the restart is done, just go over here and try launch the game. Next one is all about we have to disable the Steam overlay and that is what we have to do. So disabling the Steam overlay, just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties. Make sure if it is turned it on, we have to turn this off. That is what we have to do. Try launch the game. If that is not the case, we just need to go over here and also you can try giving the commands in the launch option. That is DX11 and DX12 can be given. So the first one is DX11 not capital you can try with dx11 you can try with dx11 so dx11 can be done and if that is not working you can try with dx12 and that will be working fine as well so the dx11 and dx12 will be working fine and that will be working and once afterwards try launch the game and that will be working fine next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to close all the overlay application which is running in the background so just go over here in the game start right click and we have to navigate to the task manager now from here as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background and all these things are actually one of the main reason why many of the users is having crashing issue because right now as you can see there are 43 43 apps running in the background and all these things are simultaneously running in the background and if i'm trying to launch the game at the same moment many things are running in the background which is causing the crashing issue app so just remove the unwanted things for example riva tuner msa afterburner etc can be removed from here once everything is removed just close this and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to do is we just need to uh, what i have to say we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here now just go over here and we have to navigate to uh, you know what i have to say is graphics settings now from here we just need to keep scrolling down and we have to add the game so as you can see i have already added many games in the same way we have to add the game just click on the browse just go over here and we have to navigate to local c go to the program file x86 go over here in the steam and we have to navigate to the steam apps go to common and from here we have to navigate to the game wwe 2k24 and we have to select this one and we have to add it and once it has been added just click on the option set this to high performance and we have to go over here and save this up and once it has been saved just close this and we have to go back and try launch the game after trying with this if the issue is still there we can try increasing the virtual memory just go over here in the search go for view advanced system setting go to the advanced tab go for settings once again advanced once again and go for change make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk where the game is installed go for the custom size set the value for initial size and maximum size initial size is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so just go over here now we need to type your RAM, that is 32 GB is my RAM, I have to type it. Multiply it with a constant value 1024 and we have to multiply it with 1.5. So just go over here, that brings you 14 and 152 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it. Next one 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3. That brings you 98304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it. And once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. Still, if you are having the trouble after increasing the virtual memory, it is quite important to update the graphics card. So I'll be providing a link in the description to both NVIDIA as well as I'll be providing a link in the description for the MD, MD users. 
the nvidia users has to go over here select everything like you have to select the product type should be selected product series should be selected and product should be selected windows should be selected according to your pc's configuration and you have to go for start search and when you go for start search what happens is you'll be getting the latest released versions of graphics card which is around 551.76 mb and which is around 5th march 2024 so just download this one install restart is mandatory and try launch the game and if you're on the AMD, just go over here and select everything like over here. And once it's been set, just go over here in the subnet. And if you're on the Windows 11, download this one. And if you're on the Windows 10, download this one. Install, restart as a mandatory and try launch the game. After trying with this, if the issue is still there, you can try. Go for the Microsoft Visual installation of Microsoft Visual C++. So I'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to this. From here, you can go to the X64. Over here, you can download X64 if the system is based on X64. If the system is based on X86, you can download this one as well. And once, you can also try installing it on your PC as well. Even after trying with this, if the issue is still there, you can try updating, uh, I mean, uh, updating the Windows. So just go over here in the Windows update and make sure it is up to date, which is very important. And if it's not update, you'll be having these kind of trouble. Also, I would like to make you notice, you can also try and install and reinstall the game if you're still having the trouble, which is quite important. So when you're reinstalling back, you have to make sure that you should not be installing back on the same local disk from which you uninstall, you have to try a new local disk. And also after trying with this, if the issue is still there, you can try verify integrity of game file, which is be cross-checking every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So just go over here in the game, right click, Go to the game, go to the properties, go over here in the install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So the game will be cross-checking and we are having the game around 86 GB. So it will be cross-checking every single files and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fi fixed by this. So just wait this to reach 100% and I'll be showing you what you have to do next.
So right now as you can see all the files are successfully validated which means there is no issue with the game. So right now it's again patching up so it is going to take a little bit of time. So these possibly workarounds can be done when you're having an issue with WWE 2K24 and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.